Hi everyone, I wanted to come on here and show you a couple of things that I created today. Um, I was going through my dies, ladies, and I came across quite a few items I was really surprised that I actually had because I never really dig. I kind of shot my stash today is basically what I did. So I made some projects and I wanted to show you the projects that I made. I just stuck these in here so I wouldn't lose them. So what I did was I made, I had bought this, um, I believe I bought this on Alley. I'm pretty sure I bought it on Alley. Well, I bought this die and I made some shakers. Now these shakers are kind of the first shakers that I really made with dies that I have. So I was really happy with my um, my end results. I'm trying to grab the spoons here. So this was my first shaker, which I used this die here. Um, and then the inside to cut it out to make it a shaker and then I use this one to do it as well but what I did was I also have the um, which I didn't make any of and I should have made some um, I have purchased this a couple weeks ago from Allie and it's the coffee cup. I didn't make any of the coffee cups. These are also shakers as well. Um, and it does come with a separate piece, which I'm waiting on an order from Ali now, um, right now. When that one comes in, then I'll order again. I don't like to order too much until I receive one order. Then I'll go back and I'll order again, but until I receive my first order. Um, I did receive my, a first order, but I ordered a, uh, another die, and I'm waiting for those dies to come in. So I ordered this a couple of weeks ago, and it's the coffee one with the like whipped cream on top and what have you. So what I did was, from this die, I used the top for the uh, whipped cream on there. Um, that's what I think it is, anyways. But I used this die the top of it and it fit perfectly and um, I with all the sequins that you all know I have um, I gathered up a little sequence mix and um, I put it inside so very very happy with these very very uh, happy with the end results although shakers are a little bit difficult for me to make um, they're a little time consuming um, and I guess you really have to wait for the actual, I think the lighting is better when I do it like that. I'll get close so you can see. Um, so yeah, so those two shakers and then, um, is it better with the light off ladies? Or is it better with the light on? I think it overpowers it with the light on. Um, and you can't really see so let's turn it off sorry okay so yeah you can see better now so I made the spoons and when I cut out this die at first I had the spoon attached so I cut it out and I cut it out with the foam so what I did was I didn't want to waste the foam I wasn't gonna make this a shaker because there was not an inside to make it a shaker so I just uh, made the back side and popped the heart back in and made it like a, an embellishment, like a sturdier spoon because it's very flimsy. So I made that one and then I made this one. Although this looks better like that, but the bow's on the opposite side, so. But I made those two and I got this little baby bow from this, um, also got this on Ellie. This is a gingerbread uh, girl, and I used her die and the little dot for this one here. So that's where I got that from. 
So that was my first project I made. And then I started digging through my dies because I really wanted, um, everybody's doing Maggie Holmes, so that's why I decided to do Maggie Holmes. And um, I have some Maggie Holmes. I don't have a ton, but I have enough to make stuff with. And I wanted to kind of make some embellishments. Um, so I used Bloom paper and Flourish. But I used Bloom paper, I got this in a D stash, um, to make these embellishments. So then I started going through my dies and um, I have this die right here, which is a book, like an open book die, but it had this flower in it, this bow in it, I'm sorry, bow. So I got the bow from here and I created these bows, which came out super cute. You could see them. I popped them up. I did a little resin rose, and I just cut out some of the flourish um, paper and made my own embellishment and just added a flower, this chipboard, chipboard, my rose I made, and then uh, the sticker came from the sticker book here and I'm not sure I think this is flourish or maybe a combination of them this has tons of stickers in here so there's a page full of wording and um, quotes I guess and I've been using them from here so that's what I used to make this and I backed it up with some phone tape and um, I just um, put paper behind it. So that was one of my rosettes that I made. And then another one was this one. And this bow I have uh, right here. And I also ordered this bow a while back. I actually forgot that I had it, sad. Oops. Um, but I ordered it a while back so I brought that one out and I made this bow and I used the bottom of the other bow from that open book and um, made the bottom and attached it to this. So same thing, made the rosette. This was a sticker. I, I popped it up on foam and I kind of backed it with the paper so it wasn't so flimsy. And I used this that I bought on um, polka dot pine cone, polka dot pine, the polka, polka dot pine cone. God, I can't talk. Um, she was selling this and you know, she sells a bunch of stuff and she was selling this and I picked it up and it's powder to take away the sticky from your actual stickers, but it smells just like Johnson and Johnson's baby powder. So I don't know. This is from, um, I'm not, I want to say, I know it's not EK success. I believe it's from, I think it's EK success. So anywho, just a tip for you ladies. Um, so I made that and I used this bow and then I used the flourish and cut these out. This is chipboard and then I cut these stickers out. Well, I'll probably have to back that on something too so it doesn't foil. So I made those two but I really did basically shop my stash today. I literally shopped my stash. So then I made this and put this little resin on there with this die here. And I believe this is LDRS. Uh, I also got this in a D stash. I only made one and I doubled them up. So I made one first and then I made another one. And so I did foam tape in between and uh, I popped it up. So it's kind of, instead of it being um, just four, it's eight put together. So I used this die. So that was in my stash too, and I got that on a D stash from someone. Um, and then I just started making bows. Um, and I, this bow here is the one that I showed you here. Um, and I used Flourish for that. And then I just started making bows this particular bow, uh, crazy. This particular bow is crazy because I will tell you, 
I have this die that I got in a D stash and I used this and this little fin looks like a little fin here, but that's actually the bow. This is actually a Santa. So if you see the Santa on the bottom, it's a bow. So I used that and it also shows you here, um, you could use it as an angel, which I probably will do some ornaments, angels for Christmas. Um, that gave me a really good idea. I got this in a D stash as well. I don't know where it came from. It looks like it possibly could be Allie. So, yeah, doesn't say, but anywho, um, that's a good idea to, when you buy the dies, to, to print it out and then save it and attach it so you don't forget what it is. That's a really good idea. But I used that bow and that bow made this bow here. So I made just one, I believe. And then I took the bottom of that other bow that I found in that book die and attached this bow here, which is this bow, and I just attached the bottom to it. And I think that came out really cute. And that was what my rosettes were. Um, well, this one was anyways. So I thought that was super cute and clever. So I got, did that, and then that was that bow. Then my last bows were these two, and this is still the bloom, this is the bloom paper, and I used this bow, which I got from Allie, and I think everybody owns this bow. Um, but basically, I just shop my stash, ladies, and I um, was surprised of what I found. I didn't know that I actually had all those bows in there. And then as I was shopping my stash, which I didn't cut, cut out yet, but I made these two bows. And then I made a bunch of rosettes with my favorite Tim Holtz die. I'm actually waiting for my rosettes to come in from Allie, the, that new rosette that looks like the Anna Griffin one. So let's, I'm waiting for that. Once I get that, I'll come on here and show you all what I make with it. Um, and then these were the inside, which I didn't want to waste. Um, I'll probably pop this up on something. I didn't want to waste them. So, anywho, that's that. But I did want to show. What was it I was going to show you? Um, oh, this here. As I was going through my dies, I came across this. And I know I got this in a D stash. And this reminds me of the Flourish little houses, like this one that I cut out because this one was the actual sticker. It was a, I cut it out. Um, this was a sticker, this bird and these flowers were stickers, but I actually, um, I cut that out. So um, I made it an embellishment, but I came across these and I think what I'm gonna do is make my own houses instead of um, fussy cutting them, make my own houses with Maggie Holmes paper and then just put it on a rosette, which would be these if I use the um, Flourish um, paper pad. But anywho, I was excited about finding this. I didn't even remember that I had it because I bought this in a D stash. Super cute and I think once I cut it out, it'll look really cute as well. I'll show you if I cut those out. But that's what I did today, ladies. Um, worked from home today, which was nice. Um, long day, but still nice to be at home and work. Um, I don't know when we're going into back into the office, um, but um, I'm enjoying it while I can. Um, but that's what I did today. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I want to do a lot more um, embellishments because um, I don't really have any embellishments for Maggie Holmes, so would be nice to continue. Um, let's see if I can get time on my lunch tomorrow to create something, and then I'll be back on here to show you if I do. So anyways, thank you for watching. That's all I have for now. Until the next time, bye now.